I was trying to think of something that would be beneficial to beginners and maybe even other players that are, aren't quite into it as long. And what I thought to do was to make a kind of a DLC guide. There is Now that this game has so much DLC, lots of maps, lots of equipment, and so forth, I thought it would be nice to have a video where you can kind of go through and check the things and see if there's something that interests you before you get them if you're not a person that has or is able to get all of the DLC at once and I can be able to show you the weapons that come with whatever map or what um, we can talk about what species are on the maps and so on and so forth. So one thing I'd like to note is I will make timestamps for each DLC in the description below so you can find them there if you need to skip ahead or if you're wanting to look for a certain DLC and see what's what it comes with those. As well as I'll have the base price, the original base price in uh, US dollars that for each of the DLC so you can see what it is and that way you'll know if it's on sale they do go on sale I'd say somewhat regularly but you'll be able to compare that with the base price and if you don't have the game yet sometimes there are other bundles that have different DLC mixed in and will save you money that way too so that's something you might want to look at but for now we're going to go over each of the DLC on its own merit which is going to take quite a bit of time in this video again timestamps in the description below if you're looking for a specific map or weapon pack etc. We will start and go through all of the maps first and then we'll move on to different equipment and weapon packs. And the first map we're going to talk about is Medved Taiga right here where it is the only all snow map. Uh, all of your water sources are frozen so all of your lakes and rivers all these accesses you can run right down them and all your drink zones. You can run right across the lake and be able to shoot all around this big lake here is one of the best lakes for sure and now a lot of uh, the best species are right up this river right through here as well each of these little spots they're gonna be all over the place make sure you check all this uh, edge of the river up here on this ice you'll find lots of species there as well one thing of note for this medved map is it has a weapon that you can unlock as you progress through the missions and that is the grank and shotgun right here it's a double barrel over under it's a 12 gauge, same as the Caversham right here, which is what comes with the game. Uh, or uh, as you start, you automatically get it. So it it only shows that the reload is uh, a little bit better now. It used to have different stats, but they've since updated that, I noticed. The only different stat is the reload speed. And I can't tell on my own counting it. It, it seems pretty much the same. I'll show you the difference in them. There's the Caversham and here's the Grankins. This is a rustier, older model, but you'll get that as you progress through the missions here on Medved and it'll be a free uh, weapon you'll be able to pick up. Even though you've already got this one, you'll be able to get a little bit different one. The species on Medved will consist of Capricaly, the Musk Deer, which this is the only map currently for them, the Lynx, the Wild Boar, the gray wolf, the reindeer, the brown bear, and the moose. With that being said, Medved is one of my favorite maps to play on because it is the only snow map. The sound of the snow, snow crunching under your boot, things like that, it, it really has a different atmosphere to it. I really enjoy this map. I love hunting it and just being able to grind away at it is. One thing about it is it's probably one of the favorites for grinding the new Great One Moose as of the end of 2022 because you got a lot of these great big lakes and you can run straight across your lakes if you're grinding for them and, and to harvest them. You don't have to run all the way around. It's, it is a, a lot of fun and this is where I set up mine as well. Again, Medved, it's a beautiful map, a lot of fun. It is its own unique thing currently in the game. The next map we're going to cover is Verhonga Savannah, which is currently the only African reserve map that you're able to hunt here in the end of 2022. A notable for this map is you are able to, it gives you the opportunity to buy the King 470. Now this is a, uh, a double barrel level nine uh, weapon and as you can see it's 90,000. It comes in two different varieties for you, or variants and it is a very powerful weapon. It takes a smaller sight, so it's more of a red dot. You're not going to get any zoom from a big rifle scope, but a very powerful weapon nonetheless. Pretty neat to have if you're able to uh, part with the 90,000 cash. The species that you'll get to hunt here on Savannah are the Scrub Hare, the Eurasian Widgeon, Side Striped Jackal, Springbok, Lesser Kudu, the Warthog, Blue Wildebeest, Gimsbok, the lion, 
and the Cape Buffalo. All of these species, with the exception of the Eurasian Wigeon, this is the only map you can currently hunt them on at the end of 2022. As we look at the map here for Verhonga, as you can see there, currently a lot of the drink zones for Cape Buffalo, Warthogs, around this edge right here, and uh, the Lesser Kudu as well. I'm sure there's other species. The lions are mostly within these smaller lakes in the middle of the map. But again, if it's one of those maps, if you're looking for species that are a little bit different than normal, then Verhonga is the map for you. All right, next up for our reserves is going to be Parque Fernando, which will take us down to South America. And it is a really interesting map. It's got a lot of water over here on the side. That's a coastline that you, you definitely need to cover that, especially for the water buffalo. But a lot of great lakes in here. Lots of huge, very large lakes you got to work your way around. It's a lot of fun as well. And a lot of unique species that are just for it. With this map, you get an opportunity at two free weapons. The first being the 338 Championship, which I will link here at the top of the page to go to that video, which shows you how to unlock that here. You have to have Parquet Fernando. There's a stone circle challenge that you got to get through, a few targets you got to shoot, and I walk you through that step by step to each target so you know where to hit them. Now, you can do that right away as a beginner, right off the bat if you have it and it's the first map you even start with all you got to do is find the first target shoot it and it unlocks the challenge for you and then you can work your way through i believe 15 targets and then you'll have this free weapon and save you a bunch of cash early in game this weapon is a seven to nine class weapon so you can get a a large weapon right away for those big animals now the 338 is a single shot rifle as you see here it's a breakover single shot and the 38 cha 338 championship is a beautiful looking weapon as well it is probably my favorite seven to nine weapon the other free weapon you can get here is the 44 gaucho my favorite of the 44 uh variations it it's just a beautiful weapon as you can see there it's got that gold um, engravings around it and engravings all through pearl handle beautiful weapon now you get this by doing the uh, some of the, the main missions, and once you get through it, the uh, lady here on Parquet will award you with this beautiful handgun. All right, so besides the two free weapons you get, you also have these species here on Parquet Fernando. We have the Cinnamon Teal, which are exclusive to this map, the Black Buck, exclusive to this map, the Axis Deer, exclusive to this map, and the Colored Peccary, the Puma, which are exclusive to this map, the Mule Deer, the red deer and the water buffalo which are exclusive to this map so there are quite a few species that if you want to be able to hunt them in the game you'll have to have parquet fernando to do that the next map we're going to cover is the yukon where it is a pretty unique map in itself it has some dynamic weather where you could be like this and then the next minute it could be snowing and it actually accumulates on the ground it starts to cover and you'll be crunching snow similar to as if you're in medved and then it'll go away at different times of the day it's pretty neat it's very cool that way and it's a beautiful map it's got beautiful mountains it's got great woodland great lowlands are along the waterways as you can see here it's got plenty of water to it a huge river here system over there and then all your lakes in the middle here and all around the perimeter lots and lots of uh, water to be able to use and a lot of your outposts as you can see are not that far away from those water sources they're very well placed throughout the map and I really appreciate that about the Yukon as well as this list of animals but one really good thing that everyone loves about the Yukon it comes with the 300 and the 300 Magnum which is right here it is a four round chamber seven to nine rifle so you're able to get off quite a few more shots than the 338 if that's what you're looking for now the 300 is not free it's going to cost you right here 75,000 cash as you can see right there there's two different styles you can get but now with the you know you can you can change your weapons that's why mine doesn't look the same as it used to but uh these are the two variants you see here in the middle but a really nice weapon if you got the 75,000 cash once you get there but a lot of people like to use this for grinding especially now with the moose it's probably the most used weapon with the moose great one grind and it's going to put your red deer down faster it is too large for them but it puts them down quick if you're not shooting any kind of trophy but you got to have yukon to get the 300 and the 300 is one of the most popular weapons in the game for sure 
Now the species here on Yukon consists of the Harlequin Duck, which is exclusive to this map, the Canada Goose, the Red Fox, Gray Wolf, the Caribou, which are exclusive to this map, the Grizzly Bear, exclusive to this map, and then the Moose and the Plains Bison. So a nice group of animals there, lots of big animals is mixed in there as well. It's a great map, it's a lot of fun. It's two biggest draws are definitely the 300 and then the dynamic weather and the beauty of the map, especially when it does start to snow. It just really gets you involved in it. You feel part of the world. The next DLC map we will cover will take us over to Spain and that is Cuatro Colinas. Cuatro Colinas gives you the opportunity to purchase the 6.5 Martinson rifle right here. This is a 6.5. It comes in, I believe, three variations. And one of them you unlock for free at the end of some of the missions here. Uh, it takes you through some main missions and then through some side missions, which takes quite a bit, including having to harvest a diamond. Now this map is known for being able to find some of the easiest diamonds, which are the Ibex, because there are four of them, and they do diamond often. So if you have a new fresh map and you're working on this rifle and you find a diamond potential or a diamond Ibex, save it until you need to have it for one of these missions and you can unlock the Rayo. The 6.5 Rayo is a beautifully engraved rifle, but its counterparts, which are available to purchase right away, are only 10,000 cash. So if you're just needing a 6.5, 10,000 cash is much easier and quicker than taking the time to get through um, to the Rayo. Now the map is going to look like this. We've got a nice river system going th right through the middle of the map and plenty of lakes. Easy lakes, for the most part, easy lakes to get to. Some of them take a little run and you might want to use a tent. But lots of species around those to be able to have lots of clear shooting lanes around those lakes it's very clear and clean around most all of these lakes you can see all the way around it so it's a very friendly map i would say for shooting at drink time and again one of the biggest pluses is that you can get diamonds fairly easy from the ibex they are one of the easiest diamonds to get so that being said, the species here on Quattro are the European hare, the pheasant, the roe deer, wild boar, and these four ibex are exclusive to this map only here in 2022, and that is the Basit ibex, the Grados ibex, the southeastern ibex, and the Ronda ibex. We also have the Iberian mouflon, the Iberian wolf, and the red deer and both iberian species are exclusive to this map only here in 2022 as well so quattro cleanest is a beautiful map as well as a very friendly map shooting around the water sources with lots of species including many that you can only find here if you are interested in the rayo i do have a video this is the rayo here it has a much different look to it as you can see but it takes a quite a bit to get to i do have a video that covers all the dlc unlockable weapons and i'll link that here above and you can use that and it'll show you which missions you'll need to get through to know when to be looking to unlock the rayo but as you can see here the thunder and the lightning are both only 10,000 cash you can get those at any time once you get Quattro Cleanest, so you can still have that 6.5. Alright, our next map is going to be probably one of the most fan favorites prior to any of these recent updates in 2022, and it probably still is even after that, and that is Silver Ridge Peaks. We are in the Colorado Rocky Mountain area, and this used to be the map when a beginner player would say, what's the best map for me to get? It was this map there are tons of species very clean shooting lanes around all the water sources and there are a lot of easy species to take down in large herds so you're able to make quite a bit of cash really quick and they're easy to see and get to nothing else really special comes with the map other than the species and the map but it's a really beautiful cool map very different in its own way and as we look at it you can see all these lakes and you'll notice a lot of the outposts are right near a lake every lake you look at almost there's an outpost not too far from it there are a few good ways but many of them are close to an outpost especially some of the best hot spots it's definitely one of the funnest maps to hunt there are a lot of species and they're easy to see around these a lot of these lakes and easy to get to 
and it, it is just a beautiful it's a beautiful map it's really neat nicely laid out in very open spaces too even though some of the fields are very open and uh, those water sources you can see around them really well the species here on silver ridge consists of the merriam turkey the pronghorn the mountain goat the bighorn sheep mountain lions which are exclusive to this map the mule deer the black bear the rocky mountain elk which is a big favorite of many people and they are exclusive to this map at the end of 2022 currently and the plains bison so a lot of variety of different size animals here and you can make a lot of money and again as a new person or a beginner player great map to start off with even before the two base maps because it's really easy to get around and the next map on our DLC list is forgive me for the pronunciation but T Awaroa and that is what most of us will just say New Zealand because you're down here in New Zealand and it's just easier to say that's for sure now New Zealand comes with a bit of a bonus you do get a new rifle when you purchase this DLC and that is the 303 right here it is a bolt-action rifle and prior to the 308 coming out it was probably my go-to rifle because it had the most penetration as I do love the M1 for the uh, semi-automatic this one I felt like had the most penetration and I could take a lot more down but now the 308 is kind of my go-to but with this map you're able to purchase these and they are 40,000 cash but this version here the laminated is actually a free weapon that you'll be able to get as you progress through the missions it doesn't take very far it's only a few missions in and you'll be able to pick this weapon up right out of the middle of the map and it is a nice addition to have that's for sure and it'll save you 40,000 cash if you're a beginner player and you just want to get to that and with that being said, the species here on New Zealand will be the European Rabbit, the Mallard Duck, the Merriam Turkey, and then we have the Chamois, which are exclusive to this map, as well as the Feral Goat, exclusive to this map, the Feral Pig, which are exclusive to this map, the Fallow Deer, the Sika Deer, which are exclusive to this map, and Red Deer. So a nice group of species there a nice little roundabout but one thing is for sure it's similar to silver ridge where they these animals are in large herds as you can see there across the lake and you're able to make quite a bit of money here the fallow deer and definitely the red deer will make you some money this is a great red deer map this is where i have my red deer great one grind that i've set up and others as well many people probably most people do their red deer grind here as it's very easy to set up and easy to see around those lakes and make a lot of money with those red deer but as you see for new zealand you have a lot of a lot of water there around a lot of lakes and then you got this giant river through the middle which houses a lot of species as well on both sides pretty much the fallow deer on the right and the sika deer on the left but you, all those waterways you see, all the uh, outposts, they're close to pretty much all the, the uh, lakes and stuff as well. Very well placed map and I enjoy it a lot. It's probably one of the maps that if you weren't going to do Silver Ridge, this is one of the next, if not the next best beginner map because you make a lot of money. Big herded species that are easy to take down and you, you're able to see them very easily. And our next map is going to take us down to Mexico where we are on Rancho del Arroyo and that map is special because it gives you the opportunity to get the 16 gauge model 1897 the Cuso 1897 you can also get the Soldado which is the one we have here and that comes with um, the missions so once you get through enough of the missions you're able to unlock this shotgun it's a nice pump 16 gauge shotgun as you see it holds five rounds five shells will be in there and it is an early, so if you have this and you're a beginner early on, you're able to unlock this shotgun. It gives you an early shotgun that you don't have to spend a lot of money or any money for this specific model if you get the missions done. And it gives you up to five shells, which is a lot more than most of them. Otherwise, you're looking at three. So it's a pretty nice shotgun to have here on Rancho. All right, and then the map for Rancho looks like this. As you can see, we don't really have any rivers. We'd have the main body of water there down at the bottom, which is probably technically a river, but there's not a lot of hunting being done down there. There are species down there, but most of it is up here on all these lakes, 
and they again are very easy to see around it's one of my favorite maps i really enjoy it here i love the white tail and the mule deer hunting here uh, as along with the other species but these uh these lakes are really easy again to see around and you got a lot of larger herd animals here as well great map to make some money on um, for the species here on Rancho, we are looking at the antelope jackrabbit, the pheasant, the Rio Grande turkey, the coyote, the Mexican bobcat, the pronghorn, colored peccary, bighorn sheep, white-tailed deer, and mule deer. The only species here in Rancho that are exclusive to this map would be the antelope jackrabbit, the Rio Grande turkey, and technically the Mexican bobcat, even though the bobcat is now on New England, it's pretty much the same species, but will be classified much like wild hog and feral pigs. They have the same thing, but they are named different. But again, Rancho is a fun map, especially if you're looking for a little bit of different terrain. You got cactus, you got desert land, you got some uh, more of a, a woodland areas in some parts of it, but lots of water and lots of bodies of water to be able to hunt. All right, our next map is going to bring us down here in the southern portion of the United States where we are on Mississippi Acres, so we're in the swamps where we will obviously find alligators. As you can see right there, we see one right there swimming. And that, this is the only map you'll be able to hunt these guys on, but it is there. One of the special things that is extra with this map is it gives you the opportunity to buy for 5,500 cash. You're able to get the Coleman 22H, or 22 Hornet and it is holds obviously you see there's six rounds it's a nice little level one to two um, gun it covers all those small species so you're able to actually take out level two species say a fox but also take out your level one birds and rabbits so it's a it's a neat little rifle to have too it's pretty accurate as well as far as the map of Mississippi, it's obvious it's going to have a lot of water. So you got the giant river over here, that edge, as well as the river that snakes through, the marshlands here, and you got a few little lakes over here on the side that hold a lot of, you know, white tail, black bear, things like that. But a lot of lakes to, to a lot of water to cover, a lot of uh, drinking zones to, to work with. But a lot of species here too that are, are different than any other map. But it is definitely different terrain as well, so it's kind of nice to have. It's a nice addition to your collection of maps if, if you choose to get it. The species here on Mississippi will consist of the bobwhite quail, the eastern cottontail, the eastern wild turkey, common raccoon, gray fox, white-tailed deer, wild hog, American alligator, which is exclusive to this map as of 2022, and the black bear. So again, a nice range of species, some that are exclusive only to this map, and it is a lot of fun. The, the alligators are a lot of fun to hunt. It's, it's pretty exciting. I really enjoy hunting them um, in a lot of my favorite zones for sure, and I'm sure you'll find those favorite spots of yours as well. And our next map is going to be one of the newest maps here in 2022. This came out in the summer of 2022, and that takes us to Finland, which is Reventuli Coast. And this is one of the first maps where we got a lot of species, a lot of species added. This is where all the waterfowl came in, along with a lot of the upland birds. Or not all the waterfowl, but a huge majority of them, as you can hear the geese flying over somewhere. But you can hear them, it's pretty loud. Lots of, uh, lots of waterfowl, that's for sure. Besides giving you a lot of species, it gives you a lot of water as well. There is a lot of places to hunt now. As you're following along, you can kind of tell these maps are starting to get a little bit bigger and a little, not necessarily bigger, but they feel bigger. There's a lot more water spots to check, a lot more drink zones to check as we add all these new species for sure. All right, and this list for the species here are the Capricaly, the Willow Ptarmigan, Rock Ptarmigan, Black Grouse, Hazel Grouse, Mountain Hare, Golden Eyed Duck, Tufted Duck, Eurasian Teal, Eurasian Widgeon, The Mallard, Gray Legged Goose, Bean Goose, Canada Goose, and now we get into level two. Everything prior to that was only class one animals. Then you get the Raccoon Dog, Eurasian Lynx, White Tail, Brown Bear, and moose so most of this is all level one species 
So if you're into those birds and hunting those type of species, this is a great map for you. It does have some larger game as well, some of the more popular ones for sure. Definitely between the whitetail and the moose now with the great two great ones on it. And our next map will be the newest DLC as of the recording of this video here in December of 2022 that came out here this same month of 2022 here in December. And that is the New England Mountains map. It is a gorgeous map. It has a lot of riverways. It has a lot of lakes. It is covered up in drink zones. So there's plenty, plenty of places to explore, that's for sure. As well as similar to Reventuli, but not nearly as much, but it has a lot of species on it as well. The one thing that this map has special is it did bring another weapon to the game, and that is the Kerman 50 inline muzzleloader. So it's the modern style muzzleloader break open versus what we had before with the smoking barrels, which is the Kudzik, um, more of a traditional muzzleloader. So it is a lot of fun to use i will say that um it it fire it, the sound is wonderful it has a great sound to it you know and it's got muzzle loader reload time in my comparison it's the exact same as the uh traditional style muzzle loader the time takes the same mine might be a little bit quicker here because i do have the fast hands perk which is much quicker on the reload but if you like muzzle loaders, this is a great fun gun as well. It it's just for me, I I prefer the traditional. I feel like it's got a little bit more penetration. Now, as far as the species that came here with New England, you get the pheasant, the bobwhite quail, the eastern wild turkey, golden eyed duck, mallard duck, the green winged teal, the eastern cottontail, common raccoon, the coyote, gray fox, red fox, bobcat white tail black bear and moose so this map does allow you the opportunity to hunt three different great ones but again it is a lot of water sources to check a lot of drink zones to check for those three so it might be a bit of a challenge that's for sure so that is all of the dlc maps currently here in the end of 2022 so we will move on to some of the weapon packs and the trophy lodges all right, so we are going to talk about a trophy lodge here. We are on Sasika Safari's uh, trophy lodge. There are two in the game currently in 2022, this month of December. And Sasika Safari is probably the favorite of the two of most people. You've got a lot of wall pl mounting plaques. It's a wide open base plan. You can see through a lot of the rooms where the other one is a little bit fuller at Spring Creek Manor. But you've got a lot of big bases here where it's not quite as many as um, in Spring Creek. Um, you got these rooms that you can go into Oops, that have plenty of plaques as you see here. You got the main back room. There is a lot of places to put stuff. And it may be the same on both. I've never taken the time to look, but the, um, Spring Creek it's just not quite as open and it doesn't breathe as well I guess you could say this just feels more flow to it uh, as far as all the different stands you get but you definitely get a lot more of the larger stands to do your multi mounts which is a lot of people like to do multi mounts which are you know multiple species or or multiple of the same species um, together so it is prob this one is the safari is probably the one most people use most of the time And I'm sure we'll probably get new trophy lodges at some point. But for now, we've only got the two. And this one is Sasika Safari. All right. And the other lodge is called Spring Creek Manor here. It's a beautiful lodge, though. You've got lots of rooms, but most of your plaques, as you can see here, are up on the wall. There's not as many on the floor plan, and they are not nearly as large as but you got them all the way through here. You got a, you got the first floor and you got the second floor, as you can see. Most of these stands are for the smaller species. They don't have a lot of the larger ones, especially if you really want the really big um, multi mounts. Yeah, it is a beautiful lodge, though. That's for sure. Got this room. Mostly all wall plaques. 
just again a quick run through so you can see what they look like so you definitely want to at least get some kind of trophy lodge so you have a place to put your trophies you, you can only save so many and if you want to taxi them you can taxi them but you have no place to look at them until you get one of these lodges so you know if you're only going to be able to afford one i would definitely in my opinion i'd go with the other but maybe this is your style but i just feel like the other one you're able to see your stuff and enjoy it a little bit better all right so our next dlc we will cover the bloodhound dlc as you can see here here's our our pup his name is rumbo right there you can see him as i turn away from him it shows him where he's at and if you want a companion someone to run around with then this dlc is for you for sure so what the bloodhound is for he is to help you track a an animal that you have shot he's not going to track just any old track or stay on it he's only a bloodhound to follow the blood so if you shoot something he's going to follow it if it does not perish and it is still alive he will keep tracking that and he will kind of spot it for you once you level him up so you do level your dog up as he does things you're able to level him up in different levels which we can see down here and you see his status his companion and his tracker so you can go over to the traits and these are the six different traits and you choose either the top or bottom row what you like this is how i have my dog set up obviously but that is how you level him up so as he levels gets to those certain levels you get to give him a, a his own little perks or skill you might call it so our dog is fully leveled there now the first dog you get is free he doesn't cost anything and then after that you have to pay for an, a new dog now it doesn't help you or anything you can kennel your first dog and, and get your new dog out and if you just want to retrain one or, or you just want something different but it th there's no benefit to having more than one you can only have one active at a time but the first one is free once you buy the dlc obviously but in game it is free now to use them you're going to hold down on your d-pad for the console and you can make him sit we can praise him you can make him heal follow you around but this is what you got him for his track but you make him lay down when you're getting ready to take a shot in case he's in your way or make him stay when you don't want him to move in and on mostly like the level one animals they do have a spook radius so if he gets too close to him they will kind of spook from the dog whereas the larger animals they don't even pay attention to him or know he's there at all so he's not an issue but you just hold this track let off of it and then he will go and start looking for a track and then it'll tell you if he doesn't find one which he won't because we have not shot anything track not found right there on the bottom right or it'll say harvest found or whatever but it is a great tool when you're shooting in a herd and you're shooting a bunch of them less so now because more of them spook a lot faster but used to be able you could really stack them up but he is really great for making sure or if you're duck hunting or something like that you're shooting or say even quail hunting in a field and you just you lose track of where you're at you just send him out and he just keeps checking for blood and if he if he finds a track you've shot something so that's really nice to have that but he is a nice tool just to have in your back pocket in case you do just lose a track for some reason sometimes that happens there's a little bit of a gap it just happens in the game but send the dogs out just follow him right to it all right our next dlc we are going to talk about is duck and cover so duck and cover unlocks our 20 gauge Nord in there. The Norden are 20 gauge semi-automatic shotguns and they hold three rounds each at a time. So you're able to get a, your shots off pretty quick with these guys and three beautiful variants to choose from. Now the other two things are the decoys. They'll come with um, some Mallard decoys. I'm not sure if since some of the species were updated if they added some decoys to the pack. But I've always had it before that, so I'm not really sure. But I know it comes with your Mallard decoys. But the thing it comes with the most that you will enjoy, I believe, are the waterfowl blinds. And you'll see here that waterfowl blinds are 8,000. So your layout blinds, 16. Your regular blinds, 8. And your tree stands or your tripods are 16. So if you've already used up your tree strands or tripods and you're okay with being on the ground then these waterfowl blinds are great to have because they're half the cost so you can get two of these for every tripod you want to put up but you just don't get the height now we'll go ahead and lay one of these down on the ground and they're they set up just like your um, regular blinds do so you just rotate them right here and you can place them down and as soon as you walk in them you'll see the door just shuts behind you and now you can see I'm 
not visible. I'm the gray line down there in my visibility. And as soon as I step out, I'm fully visible again. But if I get in, the door shuts, and I am not visible. But your whole top is open, so it's great for taking out, you know, your shotgun and taking down ducks. But it's also a great, like, you can set this at an angle on the edge of the water, and you're able to use this as a, a like, you would a tripod or tree stand, and you don't have to have as much hunting pressure. So it works the same way, and it's half price, so you can get a lot more of them for your buck. So something to think about, I do use these in certain places that I don't need height and they're really nice to have just for regular hunting blinds not just for duck hunting. Now that is the duck and cover DLC. Alright the next DLC we're going to cover is the tree stand and tripod pack which is obviously a crowd favorite because they're great to have. When you shoot animals on the ground with a rifle, you can shoot three in an area before you wipe the zone. You hit that fourth one, you're going to wipe out your zone. So having a tripod allows you to shoot uh, many more as well as a tree stand. So that's why people have them. Now a tripod just sits on the ground like so. You can rotate it to wherever you want your ladder and you'll be able to pop it down just like that. And then you can enter. Now you're up in the tripod and as you can see our visibility down there in the bottom right is as if we're not we're in a bush or we're hidden laying down and as soon as we get down we are visible again so you'd be able to set this up in certain zones and back away to be able to shoot from and then the same thing goes for your tree stand but your tree stand has to be in a tree and i use yellow so that's why it's a little hard to see on, on this map but you can see the yellow zones there that means it'll take a tree stand so we just got to get up near the tree like this and you can raise it, you can lower it, get your height, go around it, whatever you need to do. And uh, to drop it in and you stick it in the tree. Now you just got to get near it and it highlights like so it's not highlighted but once it's highlighted you can hit pop into it. And now you're up in the tree stand hunting. And it's the same thing. I am invisible basically to the animals unless they're too close obviously but the same thing as any other blind. Now to exit them, you just look at your seat and hit whatever the exit is for you, and then you're out. And then to dismantle it, as you look at it, it'll give you whatever button you need to dismantle. But you gotta have it highlighted to look at it, and it says it just enter, enter right there. Alright. So those are really valuable. It's a nice DLC to have if you can get it. You'll probably like to use it. The tree stands probably don't get used as much, but they are great in some spots where tripods are used a ton, especially if you're grinding great ones. This really keeps your hunting pressure down for sure. Now that is the tree stand and tripod pack. All right, so for our wild goose chase uh, DLC, you get the option to buy, let's get down here to the portable structures, these layout blinds. Now these layout blinds, the one, not the floating one, but the, uh, the layout blind up there on top is what would come with that. I think the floating one does too, this water one, ever since the update for Reventuli. I believe that this, you get the opportunity to buy them, but I think you get a free one of each when you buy the DLC. As far as decoys in the Wild Goose Chase, you get the Canada Goose set of decoys and I believe they went ahead and added after Reventuli those of us that had it you also get a set of bean and a set of gray lag geese decoys I believe that is correct since the update this last summer the other thing you get in that pack is an opportunity to add new shotguns which are the streckers right here they are a double barrel side-by-side -side 20 gauge shotguns and you get three uh, four four different variants here so you get these four different variants here of the streckers that come with the wild goose chase pack so you get the streckers you get the layout blinds as well as some goose decoys now that is the wild goose chase DLC the next DLC we're gonna cover is weapon pack one which comes with three weapons and the first of those we are going to be on the Virant 22 Long Rifle. Right here, you get you get two choices here, this green model or the wood grain, um, the green synthetic there. Um, those two, they it holds 10 rounds of 22 Long Rifle. 
it was the go-to 22 for sure for a long time you almost had to have this pack because everyone needed a 22 basically and now you have another option for a 22 which might kind of make this a little more null and void for some people but it does have 10 rounds which the other option is only five so that is kind of up to your preference but it is a great little 22. the second weapon we're going to look at in there is in the bows is the uh, cross point right here you get four options for the cross point this is the only way to get the crossbow currently and that is these guys here now again they are free because if you buy the DLC these are all if you buy a weapon DLC all those weapons are free some of the map DLC the weapons in them you have to pay for and some of them you get through missions but these are in this weapon DLC so this is how you get the crossbow the other weapon is the recurve bow right here you get four choices of recurves which is very similar to the longbow, but it shoots the traditional arrows. And these are your four choices here, but again, you got the new weapon customization, so that's up to you how you want to make them look. But if you need a recurve, crossbow, or the 22 rifle, and this pack was really bought for the 22 rifle back in the day, but it's fun to have the, the crossbow and the recurve for sure. I prefer the longbow myself when I'm using traditional arrows. I just feel like it has a better sight area, and it kind of hits more where I expect it to hit kind of thing. I just feel the visuals are better on it. And that is Weapon Pack number one. And our next DLC will be Weapon Pack 2, which comes with three new weapons. And the first of those we will talk about is the Solikin. The Solikin is a 7.62 weapon, and it has three variants, as you saw there. And those rounds are for class 3 to 7. It's a nice sounding, it's probably got one of the neatest sounding of all the rifles. I really enjoy it for that. And then the second weapon is going to be the handgun here. It is the 41045 right here. There is three different variants of it, as you can see. So you can use a 410 shotgun shell or you can use a 45 Colt in it. So that's pretty versatile little handgun. But the other weapon that's in here, and that's a great weapon, was one of the best, is one of the best weapons probably for a starter. So you can get a level nine bullet early if you're not going to have parquet, so that you can go and unlock the 338 championship, which would be free and a really powerful gun. But you can get the Grelic drilling rifle right here as it has a double barrel shotgun as well as a rifle barrel. So it's got three barrels. It shoots two 16 gauge shotgun shells or the 9.3 round in the rifle. Now it does have its own scope. So you have to um, go to shotguns and then there you see the Falcon drilling scope. That is what is for this. It's technically more of a shotgun than it is a rifle I guess but it is a scope early on that you can have right away if you're just starting out and you had this DLC it gives you that level 9 bullet for that 9.3 now we will go ahead and demonstrate this Grelic really quick now I am on PlayStation so right now as you can see I'm looking through the scope and I have a single round there which means I am on the and you can see the bullet versus a shell and that means I'm on the rifle portion of it. So this is the rifle. And if you wanted to reload, you just touch triangle. And that pulls that rifle shell out there at the bottom. So if I hold triangle, then I switch to the double barrel shotgun. And I have two shotgun shells right there. And I can reload those there. And they go right into the top. So you get three rounds with this weapon. It's a pretty neat weapon to have. And it works really well. Now it used to have some bugs. But so far for me, I hold triangle, it switches around. And that used to be the bug. It wouldn't always switch, but now it's like butter. So it's a really neat, versatile weapon that to have in your arsenal. And that is from Weapon Pack 2. Our next DLC will be Weapon Pack 3, which gives you another three weapons. And we'll go ahead and go with the handgun first, where we get the 22, Anderson 22 right here. It's a nice little handgun to have. It's only one pound carry it almost in your pocket and it gives you a 22 long rifle right there and you can put if you get the handgun scope you'll be able to add that to it uh, later on but it is kind of nice if you run up on some rabbits or something you can just fire off these rounds pretty fast they're they're pretty pretty fun little weapon honestly to use 
Now the next one, we can go to the rifles and you can get the 30-06 Eckers right here. And there's three choices there as well. And you can change these looks again with the new customizing after the last update, but you do get these three choices. So you can, if you wanted a certain barrel color or something like that to work with. But this is the 30-06 bolt action, one of the most popular rounds there is plus in the game a lot of people love this weapon a lot of people love the sound of this weapon but it is an option so you so far you get the 22 handgun as well as the 30 out 6 and now the third weapon in this pack will be the 45 air rifle which is down here toward the bottom there we go the Vasquez Cyclone 45 air rifle so this is a nice little quiet weapon now I, ha I haven't tried this since the new update where things spook a little more, but this used to be the weapon where it was really quiet and you could take out two or three in a herd before they all ran off, especially that pronghorn. You could just wipe them out with this guy. So it goes up to class four, I believe, and uh, we can check that compatible here. Class two to four, yep, right there. And it would make that weapon a lot more valuable if it did have more like bow stats when it came to the hunting pressure. Now that is, again, that was those three weapons a 22 um, handgun your 30 out six rifle and your air rifle the 45 air rifle in weapon pack three the next dlc we're going to cover is another weapon dlc which is the smoking barrels dlc which is one of my favorites and i highly recommend it because it has the muzzleloader the traditional muzzleloader not the newer inline one that came with new england but this comes with the hudzig it's more of a traditional muzzleloader which i feel has I feel like it has greater penetration as I've demonstrated in a previous video and I just I really enjoy using this weapon it's a lot of fun I think but it has some really good knockdown in my opinion and I really like having it in my arsenal quite a bit it's my favorite alligator gun because it, it flat puts it through and you can double along them alligators a lot easier with this weapon than some now the next weapon that came in that pack is we'll talk about is the shotgun which is the miller it's going to be your 10 gauge right here your miller model 1891 this is a 10 gauge lever action and it does not take a scope that's one thing to note about this shotgun but it is a 10 gauge so it's super powerful so you got the muzzle loader you got a very powerful sh lever action shotgun and you've got what probably everyone else really enjoys about it and that comes with prior to the 308 coming out this was kind of the go-to weapon for grinding and it is the m1 now the m1 it is um a semi-automatic so you just keep kind of pulling the trigger and it goes and then you're top fed down so it's got that nice ping to it whenever it when you clear all five rounds and it's, it's a lot of fun to have and a lot of fun to shoot people really like it the veteran here looks really cool it's all beat up it looks really neat and then you got this nice looking the uh, collection one which is you know pretty variant for that for sure but this was kind of the go-to weapon because you're able to get a lot of your rounds off but then the 308 has came out it's a little quicker even to me and i believe it has less recoil it's much smoother that 308 having that uh, ar it just it's a really nice weapon i feel like and this takes a 30 out six the m1 it takes 30 out six if you do get this use the 30 out six bullets for it but i, I just feel like the 308 it it I'm pretty sure it has more penetration. It definitely puts things down a little quicker for me. I'm, I get a double lung a lot more often than I did with the M1. But I still love this weapon. So the smoking barrels, it's a great pack. You get your muzzle loader. You do get the shotgun, but you get the M1. So the M1, the muzzle loader, to me, makes it worth every penny. Our next DLC is a weapon pack and highly recommended. It's one of our newer ones. It is the Modern Rifles pack and that will come with your three different ARs and they are super nice to have in my opinion. Now, we start off with our 308 which is our class 4 to 8 weapon. So you've got two choices here. You got this white and then you have well, you can see on the main one it's like a camo. I've just switched mine to more of a medved look, but uh the 308 here it's a very powerful round it has good penetration and then our next one will be the 223 which comes in a camo or the the normal black m16 style look to it really cool looking rifle and uh you know it's just a 223 so depends on how you feel about the 223 some people really like it you know some people not so much and feel like it's kind of underpowered for the game 
you know and maybe that's changed in an update but it, i haven't got to use it very much to tell you but uh it is what it is that's what it is. and they are a really cool looking weapon though but we also have the 22 long rifle and this is what i was talking about with um the other 22 when that pack was being used for it. Uh, it this only holds five but you get the 308 <laughs> in this pack plus a 22 so that's kind of up to you depending on what you're able to spend now that other 22 again it holds 10 this holds five but this thing has a really nice quiet sound to it it doesn't really correlate for the animals but it just sounds really good it's got a nice quiet sound to it and it doesn't kick at all man this thing is like butter so really nice weapon to have if you're needing a 22 but the 308 highly recommend this pack to anybody it it is a nice part of my arsenal i love it and our next dlc is kind of a very interesting it's the newest weapon dlc and that's the assorted sidearms pack it kind of caught me off guard um because of this weapon right here this is the 243 cuomo it is a 243 single shot handgun and you see there it only is one on weight so this thing takes up no weight in your inventory it's still a 243 rifle and it takes any of the modern scopes so it's and it ranges out in yards like I think it's like 212 218 something like that on your zeroing so you can zero out a long way and obviously you can shoot much further with that once you adjust your height but this thing for one on your weight allows you to have level two and three animals that you can take down with just this little thing in your pocket basically that's how it feels it saves you a ton of having to carry that 243 rifle or your 223 or something like that it is a huge savings to me and i love having this thing it is on all my setups now because it's only one and it it the amount of value you get for that one weight is ridiculous this pack to me is worth every penny just for having this because it changes my gameplay completely now the other there is two other weapons with it now you get the 45 rolston right here and these two di different variants it's a fun little weapon there's no sight you're going to put on it it's just basically an old cowboy gun here you're, that's you, what you see is what you get but it's kind of fun to go out and shoot with and uh and harvest animals it, it's just kind of neat to have but the other real popular one right here is your 10 millimeter Devani, which is basically I mean it is a Glock that's what everyone's this kind of calls it in the game now so you're able to have this 15 round magazine with these guys and it is pretty fun now if you get you know I'll tell you people are thinking well the wolves and stuff when they jump you but get in a pack of uh, peccary and get them going after you and start shooting these things on the ground with this it was so much fun because it, it hammers them uh, it, it's it was a lot of fun get on a rancho hey now parquet they got peccary too so uh, anyway, it's a lot of fun. So the 10 millimeter is a lot of fun. You do get the 45, but that 243 worth every penny, in my opinion. If you're really looking for a setup to save on weight, it makes a difference. You don't have to worry about it. When you see that diamond fox or something, you've got something for him, ready to go right in your pocket. But uh, that is the assorted sidearms pack, the newest of the weapon DLCs from this year. Our next and final DLC to this point in 2022 is the high tech pack where it gives us some pretty neat options first we're going to talk about the rifle scope down here you get the gen zero night vision rifle scope we will demonstrate this here in just a second night vision binos right here the gen zero night vision binoculars right there really nice to have as well these now the thing is is a lot of the species now drink in the at night and their drink times and if you're going after them that's one of the best ways so getting around them lakes and looking with these night vision are pretty nice you get with this pack the coder 65 so it's right in between draw weight wise of the bear claw and the uh the uh hawk edge yeah which is their heavier duty one. They're just fine, but they're free. They don't cost you anything to start out with. So you can get this, this black one or the red one there, but you do get that bow. But what's the best part about that, it comes with these bow sight, and it is the bright sight range finder bow sight. And we'll demonstrate that as well. The other thing this pack also comes with is tracer arrows. So all the same arrows you have, traditional and regular, you also get versions with tracers on so you have the little loom knocks on the back so when you fire it they turn on and then you can see where you hit your target with which is pretty neat we'll go ahead and use some of those as well 
and we will pull out our night vision binos and it's not that dark out but you'll get the point as you can see right here you'll be able to pop him right out no problem and see him versus there's this bear you can see those pronghorn way out there so they're they're really nice to have you wouldn't be able to see you know normally until you hover right over them but this kind of lets you see those those movements a little bit better now when we go to the night vision scope here we got it on our 308 we look down in here you see you're not zooming in near as far as you as we were but you can see that as a regular scope so I could just use my night vision I zone in and then I switch over to my regular scope it's not a problem so how this bow sight works is whatever you're zeroing if you use zeroing whatever you're zeroing is in the bottom right corner 43 21 or 65 yards that's what the red dot is on the site right now that red dot in the center is 65 yards that's what it's zeroed for so it, that's where it would be if I need to aim if you don't use zeroing then you're always at 43 yards right here but what makes this sight so great is when you aim in wherever you aim no matter how far it is no matter what your zeroing set at when you hit on PlayStation Square so use corresponding button for Xbox or your PC when you hit square it will it'll give you a range and it'll give you a green dot which is where that will hit so if I were to aim right here and I hit square it says it's 40 yards and that green dot is what I'd want to aim with so if I were to aim out by that tree and I hit square again it relocates that green dot to much lower as you can see right there so if I wanted to aim that that says it's 99 yards and so I'd use the green dot to shoot again if I'm if I used let's just say 21 yards as my zero and I pull that up and I re-zero it with the square now it's even lower you can see it's 102 yards and that's gonna take you I have to hold it much that much higher but what it's doing is it's compensating for it. now this will be much closer at 60 there we go see how it tightens it up because it's zeroed much higher so I don't have to hold this high it compensates and it's like an automatic it, it's amazing to use it's so much fun um, because you're always dead on so what we'll try to do is we'll try to if we don't have these other bison coming back we wanted to find one that's kind of broadside to us now they all want to face us so this guy he's or she's doing really good 127 yards out there so let's go ahead and zero out to oops I <laughs> don't want to use that let's zero out yep 65 yards that's the farthest we can go we'll put it on her right there so wherever I put it on her now it's 127 yards so if I pull this up I put the green dot on her and let her rip and now you can see our tracer arrow as well and that should have smoked her right there as you can see she's dropping in health at 127 yard bow shot because that range finder now once you get too much over 100 yards it'll say it's too far you can see our tracer arrow right there on her side and that's in the broad daylight but let's show you the, what these tracers look like this again the high-tech pack has the bow sight it comes with your all your arrows in a tracer form if you want them it comes with the night vision binoculars and the night vision scope but right here we we're really close so we're gonna hit this it's gonna say it's two yards away we're gonna fire that tracer arrow and that's that flashing red light right there but if that were nighttime and you stuck it in an animal you'd be able to find them when they lay on their if they lay on the side with the arrow up you're definitely gonna see them at night it's pretty nice it's pretty neat to have but that's the high-tech pack and I hope that was helpful for some of you that might not know how to use the site all right everyone I believe I've covered all of the DLC that is current in this Call of the Wild game here in December of 2022. Hopefully some of you found that informative or if you're a beginner, I just felt like it'd be nice to be able to see what you get before you end up getting it. Because sometimes reading it, you just don't understand. But actually showing what it looks like in the game, you know, at least the pictures of it and letting you know what you get. You can kind of help decide what you prefer to put your money at where you want to put it when you want to put it if you're not able to get everything at once or something like that because the more dlc we get as new people come along it's definitely going to be way more expensive trying to get everything at once so i totally can understand that again you can always look for these to go on sale they do go on sale usually you know multiple times during the year so that's something to look forward to as well
as always i hope you all enjoyed the video thanks a lot for watching and taking the time to click and, and view it this far if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel if you didn't thank you for watching this long back to work on the next video until then